What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and yesterday Brawl Stars announced some balance changes. So today I'm going to go over all the balance changes, and I'm going to tell you guys who the new best brawlers in Brawl Stars are going to be. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first off, let's start out with my prediction for the next meta in Brawl Stars. I think this is actually going to be back to a really diverse meta. We're going to see a lot of brawlers that are really good in certain game modes, but maybe not great in a lot of different game modes. Some of the brawlers that were really good in many different game modes got some nerfs. So I do think this is going to be a pretty diverse meta and maybe a bit of a mid-range one as well. All right, so now let's cover the balance changes. Let's start out with the nerf. So starting out with Colt, who got a six, about a 6% damage nerf. He definitely needed a nerf. Honestly, you could probably give him a little bit more, but what this nerf does is he's still going to be good in heist. He's still going to be decent in a lot of different things, honestly, but hopefully this nerf makes him not really strong, not OP in anything particularly. Maybe he'll still be OP in heist, and I think that's fine, but overall, hopefully he's just decent and i think that's what's going to happen for the most part i think you're going to start seeing some other brawlers be basically just as good as colt so you don't have to use colt like you do now but if you do use colt he's still going to be pretty strong colt with auto aim if you hit five to six or even four shots with colt even with the lower damage he's still going to deal a good amount of damage so he's still going to be pretty strong but hopefully he shouldn't be op anymore all right next Similar brawler, Ricochet, he got a different nerf though. He got a 20% increase in his reload speed. So now he's going to get a lot less shots out throughout a game. This sounds like a pretty big nerf. I'm not sure it's going to impact him a ton. 20% reload nerf is definitely sounds like a lot. I think it's definitely going to be a decent impact, but I think he's still going to deal a good amount of damage throughout the course of a game. A lot of these guys they deal a lot of damage per shot, so all you have to do is hit burst damage. You're not so much going to be going for a lot of different shots over time. Now, Ricochet, it's a little bit different um, as he goes for a lot of bounce shots, and those tend to be hitting two to three at a time as opposed to Colt, who tends to hit three to four at a time more like... So Ricochet is definitely going to have a big impact. I think this change is going to impact Ricochet more than Colt's change will impact him. So Ricochet is probably going to be a good amount worse. He's going to be definitely more game mode specific, but he'll still be able to deal a good amount of burst damage. Next, Crow. He also got a 6% damage nerf. Really similar or same nerf as Colt got, actually. I think this is a good nerf for Crow. Honestly, he did felt really really strong as a damage dealer and that I don't really think that's what he should be doing people were supering in with auto aim with his super and then spamming his shots and dealing a ton of damage at once and it was really hard to avoid that damage and it was just really fast damage and it was honestly too strong so this definitely helps balance him out he'll still be able to do that to some degree but he's going to go back to being a bit more of a control style character which is really what he should be and what he needs to be, in my opinion. He's still going to be pretty strong, but actually I think this is going to be a really good nerf to Crow, and I think we're going to see his usage rate go down a good amount. All right, now let's go over the buffs, starting out with Mortis. So Mortis got about a 9% health increase. So Mortis has needed some love lately. I mean, I've said this before, but the biggest problem with Mortis is you get in range to do his attacks and everyone uses auto aim, so they just deal a ton of damage to him. But this is going to help him survive those encounters. So now he's able to get close to people and actually deal damage now. I think he's actually going to be pretty good. The Mortis buff combined with the nerf of some of the counters to Mortis once he gets close range with auto aim, the Ricochet nerf and the Colt nerf and the Crow nerf, honestly, too, are all going to help Mortis out. Combined with that 9% health increase, I do think a health increase is a way to go with the Mortis right now. You could go with speed as well. Those are probably the two things I would change with him. He has good damage once he gets in range, but the problem has been getting in range with the Mortis and then surviving after you do. Honestly, sometimes I feel like you can get one or two kills and then you die right away. Or maybe one kill and then you die pretty frequently with Mortis. So this is definitely going to help him survive those encounters and get back to healing up. I think he's going to be definitely Definitely usable now he's gonna be really good in brawl ball and he'll be usable in bounty as well and definitely a little bit more usable in showdown too so I like this change for Mortis and actually another change that helps Mortis out is these next two buffs and that's the throwers got some buffs and Mortis is a natural counter to those guys 
But let's go over these buffs as well. So Dynamite got his throw speed for his main attack and his super increased by 10%. And Barley got his throw speed for his regular attack increased by 20%. Now, throwers have needed some sort of buff. Honestly, it's been sort of not satisfying playing throwers in some regards. I'm not sure this was the best buff to them. But it was probably the best route to go with the available options. Honestly, the best thing the throwers need is something that makes it easier to throw at their feet. And then easier to use on iPad where the controls are kind of small and a little bit annoying, honestly. But this is probably the next best thing, and that's increasing their throw speed. Now, these guys, honestly, I feel like they're going to be really, really strong. And I'm going to tell you, these guys are going to be the ones you want to go with. They're going to be going back to being very usable in all the smash and grab maps that are good for throwers. So, like, Cabbage Patch... Temple Ruins, you're definitely going to start seeing throwers more in those maps. They're going to be pretty hard to avoid those throws, especially Dynamite. Barley as well. They're definitely going to be much more diverse. They're going to go back to being really good in Heist. They're going to be good in Showdown. And not so much in Bounty. They've never been great in Bounty. There's a couple maps where they're usable on. Um, oh, I said Cabbage Patch for Smash and Grab, but I really meant the Bounty one. Anyways, you know what I meant. They're going to be pretty good now. I'm definitely going to recommend throwers in a lot of different places. Next, Nita got a buff, a damage buff, almost 9%. I do like this change. Nita has felt a little bit underwhelming. She's been decent, but, you know, Nita's a very specific game mode character. She's always been really good in smash and grab, and that's it for the most part, except when she's really strong, which is what she's going to be now. So Nita's going to be really strong in smash and grab, and she's going to be usable in some couple other places as well. I like this change for Nita, though. Next, we got some healer buffs as well. So Pam got a damage buff, 10%. This is the second time in a row Pam has... Second or third time in a row. No, second time in a row Pam has gotten a damage buff. So a 10% damage buff. She's definitely going to be really strong. Um, she's going to be really strong in smash and grab. And she's going to be a little bit usable in some other places. You're going to start seeing her on some bounty maps. And you're going to see her a little bit in Brawl Ball and Showdown as well. Definitely don't use her in Heist though. But she's going to be pretty good in there. I do like a damage buff for her because I always felt like her healing has always been strong. And no one's really had a good comparison as far as healing for her except for Poco. But that's pretty different. But damage-wise, she's always felt a little lacking. It's felt like she relied on her teammates a lot to deal a lot of the damage. So now it's going to be not, not going to be true. She's going to be able to deal a lot of that damage on her own. And she's going to have decent damage, especially if you're in close range and she's hitting a lot of those shots. Next, Poco got a buff. Not the craziest buff. He got a buff to his star power. Instead of healing 300, it now heals 400. So, I mean, you know, it's a 33% increase. But his star power was never a big part of Poco, I feel like. And I don't really think it's still going to be. It's still not going to be a strong star power. It's going to be pretty decent. Uh, the problem with Poco, though, is do you want to deal... You know, what is it? 800 or 900 or 1,000 damage with his main attack? Or do you want to heal... 400 health to your teammate you know you're always going to choose the damage for the most part unless maybe you're healing a teammate who has all of your gems but for the most part you're always going to be taking that damage now if you can get the heal and hit a hit an enemy then that makes it really useful but it's honestly pretty hard to do that on purpose well not on purpose but it's hard to get that situation very often it's hard to have the teammate in the same positioning as an enemy on purpose like that's just going to be accidental it's going to be incidental times where that happens so it's still not the crazy star power for poco but you know it's not bad i can't disagree with it at least next jesse got a buff a damage buff a little bit over eight percent honestly i didn't think she needed a buff her shots were really easy to hit with before and i always felt like she was pretty decent and you also could use her in a couple different things as now with her shots it's honestly i feel like it's much easier to get that second and third bounce shot now since it's so hard to dodge once it's in close range. So I don't really think she needed a buff. I think she's going to be really, really strong in smash and grab. And I think she's going to be strong in brawl ball. Okay in showdown. And maybe okay in some bounty maps. So Jesse's going to be really usable. Her usage rate's going to go up a good, a really strong amount, I think. I would definitely recommend Jesse in any smash and grab map for... I would definitely recommend her any smash and grab. She's definitely going to be really strong. Damage has always been a little bit of a weakness for Jesse outside of her turret. So this is going to make her a really strong brawler overall. 
Next, we have the last balance change, and that's Piper, and she got a nerf and a buff. So let me know what you guys think of this, but there's now a longer cooldown for her in between shots before you could only shoot with Piper at a maximum of every quarter of a second, every 0.25 of a second you could shoot with Piper. If you were trying to spam shots, if you shot, you had to wait 0.25 seconds before you could shoot again. Now it's going to be every half a second. So it's going to be every 0.5 second you can shoot with Piper. So the idea with this was to make it harder for people to be auto-aim heroes and just spam auto-aim and just snipe people right away. But it's, you know, a quarter of a second difference. And then they also gave her a damage buff. So she now does 5% more damage. So now at max range, if you have a max Piper and at max range and you're in a bush, she does 2,700 damage. About. Almost 2,700 damage. Which is a ton of damage. So she's going to be two-shotting people left and right. And I don't really think this was a good direction to go with Piper. Personally, it's going to be interesting to see. Yes, people will maybe not be as auto-aim here, we, but I still think it's going to happen. And I think she's going to be really strong in a lot of different places now. I think overall, this was more of a buff than a nerf for Piper, especially with people who are good with Piper. To the noobs, maybe it's a little bit more of a nerf than a buff because they're, they're relying on auto-aim. But to people who <coughs> are really good with Piper, it's definitely going to be more of a buff than a nerf. But guys, those are all of the balance changes. And so I didn't cover this yesterday. I didn't know when the balance changes were coming out. So I wasn't able to include it in my video yesterday. But I want to cover it today. I'll have a Robo Rumble video for you guys tomorrow. So wait for that if you're looking for some Robo Rumble strategy. But guys, that's it for today's today's video let me know what do you think of these balance changes did you agree with them or any of them you thought still needed a buff or needed a nerf cough cough brock maybe but guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you later